another ammo testing video I just got this ammo today it's made by Igman I think somewhere near Bosnia I paid like 400 bucks for 840 rounds it came in a metal box ammunition box it says it's M67 quality control mark it looks good um, I'm gonna do some testing for you to watch today okay we have my least accurate AK is a Polish Fox close to two minute of angle gun uh, Zasiva ZPAP M70 is the most accurate um, I still like it this comes right off it's a barrel rail I also can put a red dot on here which is what I prefer but for today we're gonna run the scope 10 shot groups of each ammo that I am testing I really hope this M67 because it was less than 50 cents shipped I hope this is good it's reloadable and then this stuff is okay made in Serbia Bellum it's all okay we're gonna find out and this is terrible ammo made by Ruag and I don't think it's made in the United States I think it's made in a European country and it says it's 2430 but man I get 2200 2500 it is not and it has terrible spread okay I'm gonna shoot the 10 show you the results and then shoot 10 of bellum show the results and then finally we'll show you how terrible that stuff is let's go all right for the spread 10 shot group the low was 22.91 the high was 23.43 that's like 52 extreme spread which is good for russian ammo let's see what the paper looks like from here I'm gonna call it good the AK is not the most accurate one it is in my least accurate AK and uh I wasn't like doing match grade trigger control or anything but definitely all kill shots it definitely would all hit the target uh, I think even from maybe 200 yards it's okay I mean we got two I had some duplicate uh, on the chronograph quite a few of them were similar velocities and then a couple were high and one or two was really low I don't know if that translates to the paper or not but I like it let's try the bellum just to show I marked it off and I'll be right back after I shoot the bellum okay that looks really good um, best I've ever shot with bellum it's the first time I've fired it in my Polish so I guess I'm gonna save the bellum for the Polish rifle you know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I mean we are we are closing in this uh, scope was zeroed for barn owl 123 and this is a similar group to what I would get with barn owl um, so steel case is a better deal and I thought I would save the brass, but I can't find it when I shoot it. It goes everywhere. So it's not worth buying brass. But I just figured some people might shoot it in a bolt gun and want to know. Now let's shoot the Norma, and you're going to see. Once again, I have clean paper. Now it's time for the Norma. Okay, the proof is in the Bill Cosby pudding. I mean the paper. As you see... I have a shot down here, a shot up there. I mean, what the hell? I got to pull a bullet and find out. Maybe they are 308 diameter for a Ruger Mini 30 or something. I got to find out cuz this Norma you know, don't buy it. I'm going to sell all my Norma on arms list and I'll get my money back because I got it cheap. But don't make the same mistake I did. Uh, I think that M67, the new ammo is good. The Bellum is okay. Um, 
it looked like the bellum was better but from shooting a few boxes of it I say it's just okay maybe it's just good in my rifle every rifle is different um, the you the actual m67 that's corrosive is very good Barn Owl 123 is very good. Wolf 123 is made by Barn Owl. That is very good. Uh, anything Wolf made by Barn Owl seems to be pretty good. There are 124. Some of them are made by Barn Owl. I would go with steel. But if you have to have brass, avoid Norma. Thanks for watching.